I came from a background in uh, in construction and have only been in the water and wastewater industry for four years now. And so prior to this, I didn't really think about what happened to the water. I knew it went somewhere, but I didn't, uh, didn't really uh, care, I guess, which is kind of a sad thing. But knowing that uh, it's, a, it's a resource that needs to be sustained is pretty important. And I've realized that uh, going through my career now. Uh, something I think that inspires others and how I wish to inspire others and I've been able to participate in is uh, young people coming to our wastewater plant and giving tours to them. And when we give those tours, they might be anywhere from a second grade, like eight year old child to uh, somebody that's in high school or maybe just somebody from the community that wants to check it out and the teachers, of course. But when we talk to them, they, uh, they're they inspired by seeing the the science involved, the, the math, the chemistry, the biology, and those things end up uh, inspiring them to think a little bit more about what they're doing with their water usage or wastage as well. Just having an awareness in the community is going to, to be good for the water industry moving forward and, and maybe some of those little second graders are going to be the ones that solve some problems moving forward in the future. My question today is, uh, to date, what do you consider your most significant contribution to water environment, and how does this influence the legacy you want to leave? Not only has it provided an amazing livelihood for me and my family, but it's also came with a great pride of feeling that I'm doing something great for myself, for my children, for my children's children. I consider my most significant contribution is simply getting involved. And simply getting involved you'll find your niche to where you feel you can contribute the best to leave a legacy for everybody that deserves clean water, clean streams, and a quality of life that without those things are, are impossible. Thank you. So I have a younger brother who actually wants to be just like me apparently and wants to work in the water industry and so that kind of gives me a little bit of confidence in what I do every day. I actually didn't want to do anything in the water industry to begin with. I went to college wanting to be a police officer and then my dad just brought it up as an idea of, hey, here's something to keep you occupied for two more years before you turn 21. I uh, finished the degree and turned out I actually liked it a whole lot. It's an industry that I very much enjoy. There's a lot of nice people around. There's a lot of good people to work with, hardworking people. Um, I feel like it's hard for it to fully reach out to the outside for my legacy because I feel like we are the unsung heroes and uh, we're just always in the dark. Like it's unseen for most of the public. We're out of sight, out of mind. We are not always up front. Like, you know, you see other, other careers where people are advertised right up front, like NFL players or anything. So I feel like uh, for as much as it can be, my water legacy reaches out just by inter, uh, having an effect on my younger brother and other people that I know and work with and love and care for. <laughs>